Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome to Alpha 15 here in 7 Days to Die. Yes, we are playing on PC, but I have reverted back to Alpha 15 just to mess around a little bit. This isn't going to be a series or anything like that. I just thought it would be fun to go back to this Alpha kind of as like an ode to console players since this is where they're stuck right now. And we're just going to mess around and see how far we can get in one day. See if we can manage to not die. We are in a random gen world. The seed I used was Glock9. And of course, we spawned up here on a mountaintop in the middle of nowhere. I feel like that's pretty typical of this alpha, though. You always spawned out in the middle of nowhere when you played a random gen. However, I did see what looks to be a city to the north of us down the mountain. So that's the way we're going to head here in a minute. I just want to get our stone axe made. Maybe see if we can get our clothing moving as well. I believe that's the next challenge that we have to do. And grab some stones. Oh, you know what else we can do? We can scrap our land claim block, which you aren't allowed to do anymore in Alpha 17. Let's do that. Get 150 pieces of iron right off the bat. We need a little bit more grass fiber to make our clothes. Let's grab that and get those things crafting. And then we'll continue heading down the uh, mountain here. That's definitely a city in the distance. I'm, it's hard to tell how far away it is, but we'll just keep heading that way. I'm sure we'll get there. What is that? Oh, it's a chicken. Dude, we could probably just run up on this dude. Yeah, get over here. <laughs> They're a lot slower in this alpha. Come here, you fucker. Dead. Sweet. And you can get some meat off the chicken. Too. I don't think you get meat anymore. I think it's just feathers. But that's good. We needed the feathers too, and we needed the meat. Let's go ahead and put our clothes on. I hate that there are no quick keys. Like, I have to actually click where. I can't just click on the item and hit W. That's gonna drive me insane, because I use those all the time. Especially for scrapping shit. Um, grab a little bit more snow here. What we need to do is chop down a tree. How about this guy right here? Perfect, 1200 hit points. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but, dude, this one tree will give us, like, all the wood we're gonna need for today. You know what I mean? And you gotta see through cutting trees down or breaking rocks up in Alpha 15 because at the end, you get rewarded with a big chunk of resources. Now, this is what I miss the most about Alpha 15. How much resources you would get from cutting down trees or breaking up stone. It made building bases so easy and so nice. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have to cut down fucking 20 trees to build a base. You cut down like two and you're fine. You're good to go. You know? I mean, I know that's not realistic, but who gives a shit? It's a game, you know? It's supposed to be fun. I mean, I think they want to kind of draw the game out a little bit, make it more of a grind, but I think that's a bad idea when it comes to harvesting resources. I think we should go back to the way it was in Alpha 15, make it easy to get the resources you need to build. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion, and no one listens to me anyway, so I'm just blowing smoke in the wind here. Bam, look at that. That last hit gave us 256 pieces of wood. You'd be lucky to get that much wood just chopping one tree down in Alpha 17. Let's break up a stone now, too. We're gonna need it for arrows. We gotta get arrows made, man. A lot of them. Because dogs in this Alpha are fucking hell on Earth. Dogs will kill you quick as shit in this Alpha. So we're gonna try and prevent that from happening. Let's go ahead and craft an iron club so we can get rid of that wood one we have. And look at that, your skill in construction tools is now level 2. This is another system I severely miss. You know what I mean? Like, if you notice, my stone axe is level 2 right now, because when it was dead at level 1, I scrapped it and crafted a new one, and now it's level 2, and now, since I leveled up, if I scrapped it now and made a new one, it would be an even higher level. And I think this is how it should be, at least for tools, you know, and probably weapons as well. The more you use something, that's how you should level up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make any sense that if you never use a handgun, but you level up a whole bunch, and now you can put a whole bunch of skill points into handgun, and all of a sudden you're an expert at handguns. Like, <laughs> that, to me, that doesn't make sense. I feel like the game would have much more of an RPG feel if you got better at things based on how much you use those things. Okay, let's go ahead and make as many arrows as we possibly can. 22. Take that for now. We need to find more feathers. So let's keep an eye out for bird's nests as we continue to make our way towards this town. I think we're going the right way. It's hard to see now that we're off the mountain. Can't really get a look at where it was, but I'm pretty sure it was to the north. Kind of north-east. Uh, so we'll just keep heading this way. 
And we should run into it. There's a lumberjack over there. Let's try to avoid that guy for now. Oh, what do we got over here? Military base? Okay, we gotta be careful. There are landmines everywhere. There's another chicken. I don't want to go chasing that chicken around. Oh, shit! <laughs> Poor guy. He killed himself. I was just gonna say I don't want to go chasing that chicken around because I'll wind up stepping on a landmine. And this dumbass did it to himself. Alright, well, we'll take his meat and feathers now. Oh, shit, you hear those footsteps? Look at that, dude. You can actually hear their footsteps in this alpha. They can't sneak up on you. Dude, in Alpha 17, you can't hear shit. They don't make a noise until they're eating you. Dude, melee is so bad. When I first played Alpha 17, I thought there were some issues with the melee. I didn't realize just how good it was and how much it had improved. You know, and you still don't realize that until you go back and play these old alphas. Dude, it's, it's pretty bad. The only way to really fight them is to hit them and then sprint backwards. And, uh... You gotta watch your stamina, because if you run out of stamina, then you're dead. I guess we'll use the arrows on this guy, considering he's got about a million hit points. This is another thing that has been severely improved. Look at that. Dude, you know how many arrows would just go through zombies or um, deer and shit in this alpha, dude? It's terrible. You know, once they made it so you can retrieve your arrow, because now I'm pretty sure it's like an actual projectile you're shooting. And it's so much better now. In terms of aiming, Way better than it was. Oh, finally. It took an hour to kill that guy. Can wear his shades, though. Cool. Yeah, searching zombies. That was another thing I miss. I mean, even though now, though, when they, when you, when they drop a loot bag, you kind of get excited, but... It was better when you were able to search every zombie. Felt more realistic. Let's finish chopping this chicken up here. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can walk him into one of these landmines. Uh, we definitely got some more zombies in there waking up. Ah, fuck it. Come on, buddy. Just feel like it takes forever to kill them. Here, if we be real careful, get right through here. He's bound to hit one of those. There we go. Let's go search him. Is he dead? Yeah. Yeah, he's got to be dead. Here we go. Cool. Take all that shit. Alright, let's get in here. There should be some decent loot in here. If my memory serves me well, there should be some soldier zombies also. Here's one. He's a crawler though, and he's stuck on barbed wire, so... This should be an easy kill. Is he the only one? It's the only one I see. Good lord. Gunpowder, that's all we got out of you? Where's the other one? Fucking takes forever to kill zombies in this alpha, dude. It's like an alpha 17, there would be 15 zombies in here and it would take you five minutes to kill them all. In alpha 15, there are two zombies and it still takes you five minutes to kill them both. Oh! He got me. Damn. Took almost 20 hit points and he broke my leg. We have a splint on us, though. Let's use it real quick. Jeez, dude. There we go. Oh. Damn. Look at this SMG schematic that we can actually read. And a rocket launcher and a couple of rockets, dude. Let's put that down in our tool belt. Sweet. Definitely going to use this thing at some point. Alright, I think that's it for in here. In terms of zombies, anyway. I think we can loot now. Let's grab some cloth out of this uh, tent here so we can make some bandages. Look, I missed this too. Searching corpses. Ooh, that's nice. You know, why would they take that out? I mean, I get why they took out the ability to search zombies after you kill them. That's supposed to help performance. But why not leave dead corpses on the ground that you can search? It, it's just like a loot container, you know? And it, and it definitely adds to the atmosphere. You know, a, a dead, decaying zombie on the ground that you can search? That's great. Don't know why they took that out. Ooh, Magnum Frame. 
There's another thing I miss, man. Gun parts. Why did they take that out, man? I love the idea of being able to find gun parts and assemble your own gun, you know? And then it was like, it made it fun to pick the best parts to make the gun better when assembling it. I don't know. I miss it. Ooh, what are those slugs? Yeah. Nice. I think that's it for in here. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, we got some stuff over here we can search. Um, but yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about Alpha 17. I love the direction this game has gone and the way it's going. And I love the state of the game that it's in right now. But yes, there are some things that I miss and some things that I wish they would go back to. But I'm not mad at them. I love the state of the game that it's in right now. And I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes in the future. I'm looking forward to playing Alpha 18, Alpha 19. And I don't know how many more Alphas there are going to be until this game goes gold. But I'm looking forward to all of them. Here we go. Let's do a little bit of hunting. Look how low you got when you crouched. You do not get this low anymore. Let's see if we can do this here. Hunting was a little bit more challenging, man. The animals spooked easier. Look at that. See? And... Oh, I got him. I was gonna say, fucking aiming with this thing was always a lot harder. I felt like arrows would just go through your target all the time. Let's see if we can catch up to them. Sometimes they would bleed out and just die. Here we go. Oh, that was a miss. Come on. Oh, got him. Sweet. Our inventory is full. It's not letting us collect the animal fat. Let's see. Um, all right. Let's finish chopping them up here. Now, if we chop up the guts, we can get a bone and make a bone shiv. What can we get rid of here? We can use the painkillers since our, our health is low. Let's grab the animal fat. What else can we dump? Let's uh, drink this bottle of water. That's going to give us an empty bottle, though. That doesn't help. All right, let's eat the food, too. We can use it. Scrap this can. Now we can grab a bone. Make a bone shiv. All right, here's the main road. And that is the way we got to go northeast. That will take us into the city we spotted earlier. Now, I'd love to go search all of these cars and shit, but we have a completely full inventory. We need to just keep it moving till we get to the city or find a cabin or somewhere we can put down storage and call home. All right, here we go. Buildings are starting to appear in the distance. We got our little city right here. We got another buck. Let's search this car and then see if we can kill this buck. Might as well get some more meat, right? Uh, battery. Um, should we make room for that battery? I don't know why I'm so overly concerned about all this shit. Like I said, we're just kind of playing for, for today. Not really, not gonna make this into a series. I know a lot of you would probably want to see me continue this on, but I just wanted to play it for a little bit, just as a reminder of how much things have changed. Oh, he just bled out and died. I don't think that mechanic is still in the game. I'm not sure. I've never had an animal bleed out and die on me in Alpha 17, but that's because nowadays it's so easy to kill them with one shot. We gotta keep an eye out here because we're really close to this city. And there tend to be a lot of dogs surrounding cities. All right, I saw a dog over by the bank, so we're going to avoid that building. Let's hit this building up here in the corner. I think that's a working step tools. Oh, shit, the dog is after us. Here we go. Get right up here. All right, pick these two up. Where the hell's he at? He's just running right after us. All right, let's get on the rooftop here. This is not Alpha 17, so we don't have to worry about a whole bunch of zombies up on the rooftop. Here we are, and what the fuck? <laughs> we don't have any vultures, but we have big giant hornets. Uh, hitting him with an arrow is not going to be fun. Oh, shit. Screw that. All right, well, come on then, buddy. Oh, this is not going to be good either. <laughs> oh, my God. I do not want to get killed by a hornet. Up on the rooftop. Dude. Oh, shit. Back up, dude. Oh, got him. Ugh, come on. So annoying. And, uh, okay. 
You don't want to fight, apparently. Yeah, I forgot. Alpha 15 is not an easy alpha by any means, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Okay. Guess that was too far of a drop. I took a little bit of damage there. Uh, and there's a dog right in there. Yeah, this was a bad idea coming to a city. <laughs> I forgot you want to tend to avoid cities in Alpha 15 right off the bat, you know what I mean? It's not like the best move to come right to a city. All right, let's make uh, let's make 50 arrows. Here comes that dog, and some zombies as well. Uh, you know what? Maybe if we make a little bridge like this, get up here, we're a little bit safer. Right here, can we grab that frame? Yeah. All right. Now we got this dog freaking out. If we can get him to stand still for one second. There we go. That's much more efficient than a bow and arrow. Oh. Shit, I forgot our foot is wrapped up. You take damage from falling from just a short distance. When that's the case, whoa, get out of here. Great, another lumberjack with a million hit points. Screw it. I don't got time for your shit, buddy. See ya. Man, we should just spawn in all of the rocket launcher ammo and go to town with that thing, right? Let's get in here. Are there any more zombies in here? Let's get the torch out. Oh, I'm hearing some growling. Can we get up there? Oh, oh shit, we're gonna die. Get outside. We got one more shell here. Let's make it count. Oh, got him. I hope he was the only one. So all we got left now is uh, arrows. Better use this bandage before we die. All right. Now, that was always the quickest way to kill zombies. Now I'm remembering. What I used to do is I used to use the melee weapon until I would drop them, and as soon as they would fall, then I would pull out the bow and get a clear point blank headshot. And that used to be able to used to be able to kill zombies relatively quickly doing that and save on arrows too. I mean, yeah, you can keep shooting them, but if you're low on arrows, use the melee weapon. Once they fall, get a close point blank shot with the arrow, and uh, you should be good. Let's uh, take the painkillers over the paper. Probably should use one of those, but whatever. We're just about done here today. I think we're gonna loot this place and. Uh, That'll probably be it for this episode. You know, this is, like I was saying, probably not the best start to an Alpha 15 game. You know, coming right to a big city like this. It would have been nice if we were able to find a cabin that was, like, just outside of this city. And then that's where we would make our home. And then you kind of venture into the city as you want to do loot runs and shit like that. Um, all that stuff is just floating there because we have no inventory space. Car air filter, we don't really need that. What we should do, actually, is lay down storage, though. Before we start looting this place, we got no fucking space for anything here. Uh, shit, we need tallow, that's right. I was gonna make some torches to light this place up, too, because, man, it is fucking dark inside POIs. Get this storage chest laid down here. Drop a bunch of shit off, but yeah, like I was saying... Probably not, like, if this was a series, this probably wouldn't be the best start. I don't know how long it would last either if we were playing permadeath, because, yeah. Coming into a city on your for, on day one in Alpha 15, not the best move. There we go, finally got the challenges done. Let's throw our cooking grill in there so we can grill some meat. I don't even remember what you get for completing those challenges. I think just one skill point, which doesn't do shit, because you don't you need, like, ten skill points to upgrade, like, anything? Let's get this meat cooking here. The back room with all the loot. This is wide open right here. Probably should seal that up before a dog comes running in here. Upgrade this a couple times. Look how quickly the axe upgrades shit. It's so slow in Alpha 17. All right, let's pop these open. Probably call it a night at that point. Let's check out our skill tree here. We got 11 points since we leveled up. I don't even remember what I would go for right off the bat. Oh yeah, Pummel Pete. That was one of the first ones I would level up here. Increase our melee damage. We can just go ahead and do that. I definitely like the skill tree 
better in Alpha 17, minus what I was talking about before, you know, about leveling up tools and weapons. I think when it comes to those two things, it should be based on how often you use them. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, it's not going to be a series. I did have fun jumping back into this alpha, and there are some things about this alpha that I miss and that I like better than Alpha 17, but overall, it's just lacking depth. And I definitely feel sorry for all the console players that are kind of stuck here in Purgatory. There has been some good news that has come out. Telltale is supposed to be um, rebooting, and hopefully that means a future for Seven Days to Die on console. But for now, I may go back to Flora's Lava and maybe record a couple more episodes there. And hopefully, Alpha 17 or Alpha 18 should be dropping here in about a week. We'll see. But it's officially night, so let's go outside and get ourselves killed. We might as well, right? Let's go find some dogs or some zombies. And fight to the death. Ooh, crack a book. Crackabook used to be the place to go, man, back when schematics were a thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit, man. One hit, and we're infected, and we're almost dead already. I can't see shit. Let's try and get over by the uh, street lights over here. Maybe we can pull up on one of them. Come on. Oh, shit. Run. Let's get up on this tree. There's another cool trick that used to work when you were able to pull up trees and the zombies couldn't do damage to trees. Now we could just stay up here all night if we needed to. You know? Oh shit! Maybe not. There's a fucking cop. I forgot cops would just hang out in cities. This is not good. Look how fast they are, too. Holy shit. Uh, can we get up here? Well, getting up there is pointless. Because the cop's gonna kill us anyway. So, uh, we're going, we're going. Lights are going out. Let's get one more whack in on that cop. Where's he at? Oh shit. <laughs> and that's that. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video, for real this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to do that, that would be awesome. It really does help out the channel. You guys can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 7 Days to Die. If you don't already know, I have early access to Alpha 18, so I'll be bringing you guys early gameplay for that real soon. Hopefully within the next week or so, but if that doesn't happen, if it gets delayed again, don't hold it against me, alright? You guys the best. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.